Mermaid here, finally, with my review of the Finis Luna, the new Monofin, Mermaid Monofin from Finis. I say Finis, I think it's actually pronounced Finis, but either way, we're doing this. So I'd like to start off by giving uh, a huge thank you uh, to Finis, Finis, <laughs> for giving me a discount code to grab one of these sweet monofins and to do this review on it. I've been so excited to finally get this together. I've had the footage for a while, and now it's time to actually give you guys the goods. So of course, uh, though I was given a discount and um, to, to do this review, I will say that all these opinions are my own. This is my genuine, honest uh, take on this monofin. So everything, it's, it's coming from right here, guys. Okay, so my initial thoughts on the monofin when I opened the box, which was enormous, by the way. But my initial thoughts on this were that it was really heavy. Like it's quite a lot heavier than any of my monofins, including my Rapid. It feels a lot heavier and the flop, you guys, the flop is real. Look at this action. Is this crazy or what? This is like, this is, this is magical right here. Uh, this is by far of the monofins that I have. This is by far the most uh, realistic looking and feeling uh, fin. Like it's cr pretty crazy how bendy this thing is. So far as the fit goes, um, I was very, very worried actually about this. Um, I have size 11 uh, feet and this goes up to a size 10. Yeah, this fits sizes five to 10. There is a smaller version of this fin. There's the small and the medium. They don't currently have like a large. This is also their large. And I was really scared that it wasn't gonna fit. And when I say that it fits exactly to my foot size, it was almost as though this fin was made just for my feet. It fits me so snug and tight. It doesn't loosen, it doesn't come apart, like it doesn't come off. My Aquarius, which um, I can show you guys here. I'm gonna do a full comparison video as well down the road. Um, this is gonna be mostly talking about this, but there are a couple of points I wanted to make clear about the fit. This is the Aquarius. So this is just a size comparison. This fin is, meant for teens if I'm not mistaken and like it does slide off my size 11 feet so I found a way using an elastic band and I believe their new versions of this don't actually have this mechanism anymore they have something more the same like that which I think would probably be better but I'm gonna say my favorite thing about this fin is the double foot pockets so this just has a, a piece in the middle and mine's actually sadly starting to rip. I'm gonna need to buy a new one of these soon. Um, but yeah, it has that piece in the middle, whereas this actually has two separate foot pockets. So because the size is so snug, I am not able to wear socks with it. But the wonderful thing that I've discovered is I don't actually need socks with this fin. Now, I'm gonna just, since you, you know, you may not know me if you don't follow my channel, I get extreme foot cramps. I mean extreme. I mean so much so you can actually see my toes bending under each other and it's pretty unfortunate and it happens all the time. Yes, I've seen somebody about it and I take supplements and I do things to help and it's gotten better. But in this fin, I can cruise. I think I swam like nonstop for, I don't know, maybe 35, 40 minutes, just laps, just, I was just going. And I just, I didn't even realize how much time had passed because I don't cramp in this fin. And I don't, I'm not sure if it's just because the flex is so much more, but in this fin, I can go maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I have to really take it easy. Most of what I do is floating and very calm and relaxed in this one because I can't, I can't like crank it. I can't be like, okay, we're going. In this fin, hot diggity, I can give it all that I've got. The fin doesn't come off and it's comfortable like nothing I've ever experienced. And I've tried a lot. So I've tried, I've tried the Aquarius. I've tried the Rapid. I had a competitor fin that came uh, to me from, I wanna say it was, it was Europe. It was, it was in Europe. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I've done flippers. I've tried uh, two or three different kinds of flippers. So I've, I've, I've experienced different kinds of fins, different levels of propulsion, different levels of uh, maneuverability. And I will say that this, 
is by far the most authentic mermaid experience that I've had in a monofin. Because it doesn't, in, so it's very heavy here. In the water, you don't feel it on your feet. It's actually, it took me a second to get used to it because this, you very, this is very obviously a monofin on your feet. You can really feel it because it's not, the, it's comfortable, but it's not the most, like of the different fins, it's one of my favorites. But you definitely feel like you're wearing a monofin. This does not feel like you're wearing anything. It does sink though, which I thought was interesting. So this, if you lose this in the deep end, it just sinks, it's just gone. It just goes. But this is outrageously comfortable. Okay, so I have not yet made a tail skin for this monofin. I have seen people with success making uh, covers for this fin. I am working on one of my new printed tails. It's gonna be made specifically for this one. My concerns with using this one in a tail is because it's full silicone, even the straps and everything are um, silicone, it's a little tricky to get on just anyways for me. But of course, keeping in mind that I have very big feet, so I feel like I'm fortunate enough just to be able to fit in this thing. Um, but it's a bit sticky, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be curious to see how it goes, but I will say the fact that it has no bulk, this is gonna make for a really nice look in a mermaid tail, and I'm really excited to give it a go. Because it does have a lot of flop, you'll need to be careful when you're making a tail for this that you don't make it tight, that you end up having it pull and bend at the, at the tips. So, um, yeah. Another really amazing thing that I love about this fin that I feel kind of like a hallelujah moment, finally, it's happened, yes, is the fact that the water, so this is the back, so my heels are here and the, my legs come out this way, is that the drainage is here now, it's on the back. So that's just brilliant right there, it's awesome. I, because when you're swimming, you're swimming with it this way, okay, the water is gonna wanna rush out that way and air bubbles are gonna wanna go up, and it's not down. So when you look at, say, the Aquarius, this is kind of turning into a comparison video, but I will do a better one and a different one soon. But the Aquarius has two small pockets at the tops of the toes, so no water can actually flow through the top of the foot pockets at the back. So you do get some bubbling and some bubbles coming up your tail when you're wearing that one. Okay, so I know the biggest complaint for a lot of people is gonna be the propulsion. Now, this is really gonna vary from mermaid to mermaid, and depending on what your what you want your experience to be, what you're using this for, and the kind of look that you want to have. So for ocean swimming, I wouldn't say this is your best bet, though I don't seem to feel like there's a huge, a huge difference between this and my Aquarius or my other monofins. People have, have noticed, and um, some of the other girls I was swimming with um, the day that I filmed for this, did try this out, and they were also using my Rapid and the Aquarius, and then they said of the three, this one was the slowest, but the most comfortable. So, it's gonna depend on what you need the monofin for. If you're doing it as a recreational, fun, you know, maybe you're doing gigs in pools, maybe you're just doing it for yourself as a, just a mermaid experience, this fin is incredible. This fin is incredible. I can tell you this, if I can make this work in a tail, this will be my new go-to fin. Because the level of comfort and how authentic and real I feel swimming in this, compared to something where I'm very aware of my feet and very aware of, of any little possible spasm or anything that could happen, this is just such a different, unique experience. So it's really gonna depend on what you're looking for and what your needs are. If you're doing a lot of ocean swimming, of course you're gonna want a bigger, stiffer blade. If you're doing something that's just, you know, you're more like, I'm not in the ocean very often, you know, and if I am, I'm just in, in the shallows out for a photo shoot or something. So this for me is, is pretty much a dream come true. I'm not gonna lie. So <sighs> just so happy with it. I'm just so happy with it. I'm not kidding. When I first um, put it on in the water and I realized what I was capable of in this tail, flips and spins and turns and, and no cramping in this kind of thing. I, had, I was almost in tears. I was just so happy. So I wanna say like Finis, Finis, you did an incredible job on this. I mean, there's, if there are things, they're very minor. Um, I don't know that this, that these are the best for a long-term 
solution. I'll be interested to see how this wears and tears. Overall, like I've been pretty rough on this thing and it doesn't look any different than it did when I got it. And I've had it for maybe a week and a half, two weeks, almost two weeks. And um, it just looks solid. The thing for sizing, if you're an in-between size, not being able to have a strap to adjust could be a little bit of a bummer, but if you are somebody who finds your in-between sizes, try adding a neoprene uh, sock. I was able to put socks in this, it's just because my foot size. I'm just too big to fit my foot with a sock comfortably. It's much more comfortable to have this without um, anything on, which is just amazing to me. Cool, so I will give you guys a close-up look of this monofin. Okay, so this is the fin, and you can see in the foot pockets. It's a really nice, comfortable fit. The only area I feel a little bit cramped is just under here. I have a pronounced uh, bone on the top of my, of my feet, both my feet, and it does rub a little bit on here, um, but it's not, it's not anything that I'd really be super upset about. These are the heel straps, and you can see more monofins on the floor. <laughs> but these are the heel straps. This is how this does up and undoes. I did not feel, while swimming in this, concerned at all about it coming undone. It did not feel loose. It did not feel like this was gonna just slide out or rip off. Uh, it's gonna depend how rough of a swimmer you are and how, how tough you're gonna be on this tail, but you can see this is not something you can do with just one hand to do back up. I mean, maybe I can. But so you can see how this might be difficult to have in a mermaid tail. So I am going to figure out some solutions to making this work in a mermaid tail. I'm really excited because this, this really is, but you can see how heavy it is, eh? <laughs> okay, so they have this beautiful scale pattern on the front, which is kind of fun. It will make um, painting, if I ever do a painted tail with this, a little bit difficult because any grooves, the same thing with this, this shows up a little bit until I put the scale pattern on because I paint the base of the tail directly on the fabric while it's on the monofin. But um, it has a nice thick ridge that runs down the side here. And I'll show you the opposite. It does have nice like ribbing and this pretty nice rounded pattern down at the bottom. And it comes to a nice curve. It says Luna on it. And then of course, Finis or Finis, however you want to say it there. So this is the front. You can see it's also a little bit see-through. Hello. <laughs> That's not really gonna affect the swimming experience except for the fact that it looks kinda cool. Um, they have a little bit more scaling on the back. This could be for grip or not for grip. I mean, honestly, the whole thing is quite grippy underwater when you're, if you have to stand in it at all. There is some information like on the size and stuff here. It's not gonna pick up on my camera. My camera's having a problem. There we go. But uh, it just says like uh, M for medium, finis, and then just the sizing information and stuff there. Another thick ridge for support. We've got a couple here. The toes kind of peek through, mine peek through a little bit further, but honestly, it's so much nicer. When you're posing for photos with kids, they're facing you on this side anyways, not on the back, so they're not gonna see, like you're gonna be a lot more authentic and real looking to them when they go to touch you and they don't feel any toes. So that's that's a huge, that's a huge deal. I mean, thank you, you know, guys for figuring that out. It's brilliant. So just some more ridging and then the same, the same on the back. The texture is, it's, it's silicone, right? But the texture is kind of like a little bit of a matte finish silicone, a little bit smooth here. So now I'll show you guys a size comparison uh, between my monofins. Okay, so I've tried to line these guys up a little bit. So, okay, we've got the rapid, which I have cut. So my rapid is missing about that much on the ends. But you can see the bit of an idea size-wise what you're looking at. It's probably a little bit closer here. These are actually quite similar um, in shape in terms of where like the ridges are. So if you actually had a tail already made with this, you could probably alter it to fit to fit your Luna. But that's the thing. So the real difference that you can see that I love where they've gone with this. Now, hopefully this works as a long-term thing. I'll be interested to see how it wears, but this is what we used to have to contend with was long straps 
long straps and big buckles. You know, this is still my favorite monofin for, for safety, being able to get in and out of it. And the Aquarius was safe just because you just came off. You could just slide your feet right out of it, no problem. This one does take a little bit of doing to get out of it. So I would recommend that you are sure you can get in and out of it safely before you put it inside of your, your uh, mermaid tail. Okay, so all that being said, I absolutely love this fin. This fin has been one of the nicest, best things that's happened to me, <laughs> mermaid-wise, uh, in a while. This creates a really, really good swimming experience, and I want to say another big thank you uh, to Finis, Finis, one day I will know how to say it. <laughs> um, I wanted to say a big thank you again to you guys for, for giving me this opportunity to do a review on this fin. And I'm so glad, by the way, guys, if you have not noticed, their website now ships to Canada. I would like to think that that's all because of me. I know it's not, but <laughs> I was so excited. You guys have no idea. I think I must have screamed like bloody murder. I was so pumped. So yeah, their website now ships to Canada, which means no more of me having to find like other ways of getting a hold of these fans. It's so good. Yep, and so that's my uh, review of the, the Luna Monofin. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and please feel free to comment as well. Uh, have you tried this Monofin? What do you think of it? Um, what do you hope to see in future Monofins from um, this company? And yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, stay tuned. There are going to be lots of videos of me swimming in this monofin. I'm telling you, I love it so much. It's so good. I'm good. I'm calm. But seriously, so definitely hit that subscribe button to watch the craziness unfold with this new monofin. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye guys.